everyone, and welcome to the first ever how-to installments of Steamboat Productions, where I will answer one of the most popular questions I get asked, and that question is this. How do you make a roller coaster stop and then launch on Roller Coaster Tycoon? In order to understand this question, you must first understand what block brakes are. In Roller Coaster Tycoon and in real life, there are two types of brakes on a roller coaster, trim brakes and block brakes. Trim brakes slow a coaster train down to a certain speed, which are often helpful if you want two roller coaster elements together that require two very different speeds. Now, block brakes, on the other hand, are more like safety checkpoints along a roller coaster track. They can take the form of brakes or even of lifts, and they help protect roller coaster trains from crashing into one another should a train get stuck somewhere along the track. Uh, block brakes also assist in stopping all ride vehicles in case of an emergency. And the most important takeaway for this lesson, however, is that block brakes will stop a roller coaster train if the train in front of it has not yet cleared the next block brake section. And now that might be a little confusing, so allow me to demonstrate. Right now, you're looking at a simple roller coaster that I've designed to demonstrate how block brakes work. The coaster leaves the station and goes up the lift hill, which we'll call block brake one. It then goes through a large helix and peaks at another set of block brakes, which we'll call block brake two. After the next helix, the train then goes along a set of trim brakes, then another set of block brakes, which we'll call block brake three. Now, please keep in mind that the train will not stop along the trim brakes because the sole purpose of these trim brakes is to slow the train down, not to stop it completely. And finally, the train's gonna go through a final set of block brakes, which we'll call block brake four, before proceeding around a couple of turns, through one more trim brake, and lastly, into the station. Now, what I'm gonna do is overcrowd the track with coaster trains, which will cause the block brakes to become extremely active and watch what happens as each train moves. We'll follow the train in the station right now, and as it leaves the station, the other trains behind it will proceed forward as the next block brake section becomes clear. Notice how even train one stops at the top of the lift hill before the train in front of it clears block brake two. Now keep watching our first train, keeping in mind that it does not stop after the train in front of it passes through the trim brakes. Only when the train stops past the next block brake section does our train proceed. This coaster feature is necessary to build a launched coaster like Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. So we'll just keep on watching this train go through. You'll notice that our first train is now going around the next helix and it's going to pass along those trim brakes. The train behind it is going to wait for our train to get to the block brake section and to clear that section. So you'll notice now that we're approaching that block brake section, the tra train behind it is stopping at its block brake section and as we clear it there goes our train behind that and then the lift hill is going to clear then the train into station is going to go and then lastly our train is going to pass over one other trim brake just to slow it down before it proceeds back into the station Now that we have an idea of how block brakes work, let's move on to the launch itself in our second lesson. The first thing that we need to do before we can proceed is name any guest David Braben. And this will allow us to set unlimited launch and lift speeds for our roller coaster. This is really important because we're going to use a lift segment, not a block brake segment, set at 60 miles per hour to actually launch our coaster and it's going to act as a block brake section. Now I'm going to build this roller coaster completely from scratch just to help demonstrate our launch and hopefully the coaster works and, and gets through the track successfully. Now here comes our launch segment. I'm setting some trim brakes as well as our lift segment. I'm then going to go to our coaster settings and set the lift speed to 60 miles per hour, and remember this is the lift speed. This will propel our train through the coaster track. I'm also going to activate test mode, and I'm going to change the view a little bit. Now watch what happens when it passes over the lift. There we go, there's our launch. The question is, how do we make it stop there? Let's keep building our coaster, and uh, everything should click together for you at the end. 
make some terms around here. Now, on top of this hill, I'm going to set some trim brakes to slow our coaster down. Remember that these are not block brakes, so the train's not going to stop here for any reason, unless, of course, it gets stuck. I'm really not going to build any block brake sections until the end of the ride, and I'll explain why later. All right, over here I'm going to put a corkscrew. Let's have it go this way, go down. I'm going to have it go down into... A, uh, a half loop. We'll complete it with a half corkscrew. Okay, let's just finish building this ride. I'm going to start bringing it back towards the station. Let's maybe put a camel back over here, just like the end of the of Rock and Roller Coaster. Okay, now in our our uh, our brake segment. I'm first going to put some trim brakes just to slow the train down, uh, then set our block brakes. You don't have to do this, but that's just something that I do to add some realism. Now I'm going to add the unload station, and we're going to turn this coaster track around, add one more block brake section just to crowd our track, and then we'll close our circuit. So now we're going to enter test mode. You'll notice that the first train will stop momentarily before watching, and watch when it does as compared to the last train on the track. I'm just going to change our view. So watch what happens to our first train as that last train clears the block brake section. There we go, train launches. Okay, now let's watch the train at the launch platform that's pulling up right now. Watch when it launches, which won't be until our first train passes through the block brakes at the end of the ride. So here goes our, our first train through the trim brakes. It's going around that turn and about to enter into our corkscrew. A little slow, but that's okay. Turning around, it's going to go down that dip. There it goes into our half loop. Also a little bit slow, but a little bit better. Okay, around that last turn, going to head back towards that camelback. There we go, over the launch segment. And here it comes to the trim brakes, going into the block brakes, and again, watch what happens when that train passes by block brakes, what happens to our train at the launch platform. There it goes, that one launches. Now obviously this track is not the real rock and roller coaster track, but the same concept applies. We want to separate the launch platform as much as possible from the next block brake section. This can be anywhere though. Uh, that way the train will stop at our launch platform because it will be waiting for the train in front of it to pass the next block brake section. And guess what? This is exactly how it works in real life too. In fact, if you are ever at the brake tunnel uh, waiting for the unload station to clear on the real rock and roller coaster, you might get to hear the train launching in the tunnel to your left. Now I'm going to bring us to a closer angle down by the launch platform. You know what? This reminds me so much of rock and roller coaster that I can uh, almost hear this playing in my head. limo soundtrack nine lives so next time you're in disney's hollywood studios be sure to request one click one quick limo well i think that about covers it so hope this answers some of your questions and remember to stay tuned for more videos rock on okay folks let the show is all the way across town but i got you a really fast car awesome okay wait it's out to you congratulations on those backstage pass everybody Please continue to the door to the left into the alley. Keep up with the party in front of you and do not stop watching LA traffic.